the Class A Championship in Sioux Falls between Sioux Falls Christian and Dakota Valley. Dakota Valley came in as the heavy favorites, winning 52 in a row, the defending champions, and they had beaten Sioux Falls Christian in the regular season. But the Chargers looking for the big upset, and they came out on fire. Britton Mulder hits one right away, a quick 2-2 tie. Then Dakota Valley's Sam Kleiss gets the three-pointer with a little help from the rim. 12-9 lead for the Panthers, but a strong finish to the first quarter by Sioux Falls Christian. Britton Mulder to Cole Snyder, 13-12 lead at the end of one. In the second quarter, Sioux Falls Christian again won the quarter, 13-12. Here's a jumper from Bennett Wassenaar as Sioux Falls Christian takes a 24-21 lead and into half, they would still lead 26-24. The third quarter, this is where Dakota Valley has traditionally put teams away. But Cole Snyder has a strong take. And Sioux Falls Christian with seven straight points to open the third quarter, 33-24 lead. But you know the Panthers are gonna come back. Isaac Bruns gets around the defense and closes the lead to two, 38-36. Don't worry, Ethan Bruns, no relation, hits the jumper, and Sioux Falls Christian retakes a three-point lead. But then a big three-pointer from Randy Rosenquist. will tie it up at 42, and that is how it would end at the end of three. Fourth quarter action. It was Bruns and more Bruns. This time, Ethan hits the jumper for a three-point lead. Then Isaac hits the jumper for Dakota Valley, and they're within one. Then the first lead of the second half for Dakota Valley. Randy Rosenquist would drive and convert. Isaac Bruns comes down the next time down the court and adds that one point lead to a three point lead. The next six points were all free throws. Then Randy Rosenquist with the miss, but look at this. Jackson Winger with a couple of offensive boards finally gets it to go and they pull ahead by five and the Panthers get it done. 54-48 for their 53rd win in a row and second title in Class A. You know, I felt all of it tonight. Um, I think you, we all kind of felt the weight of the world on it when, when Christian, first of all, shout out to them. They did everything right. They played us the way I would play us, and I know us pretty well. Uh, and uh, they played dynamite and took us out of a lot of things we wanted to run, and, and it was a gut check for our guys. So I think about third quarter, you could kind of see the weight of the world on our guys uh, a little bit, and we were just not ourselves a little bit. But all the emotions ran through. It was a grinder game. Um, it was just so physical and um, not for the faint of heart out there. And we. We're relieved, but thrilled. Uh, I'm just so happy for our kids to finish it off because they deserve it. Having a winning streak like that, you know, some of our some of our guys thought we got a little pressure, um, something to prove out there, and, and you know, we, we we were we were hungry no matter how many wins we had in a row. So it's it's pretty cool to get it done. We knew what it felt like to win. We didn't want to feel we didn't want to feel what it like, felt like to lose. So we just kept going. I think we'll remember this one for a long time. Yeah, we were down at half, tied going into the fourth, and you know that's that's what we work for all those practices and all the work in the summers. For that fourth quarter right there it's this one's different it's much more emotional for me um, it's, it's pretty awesome um, we're very we're very thankful and grateful for everything that's happened here uh, the last couple years together on three. One, two, three, together.